Hey parents, thank you so much for joining us for this episode parent video. We just want to take a few minutes of your time and fill you in on some important details related to episode 23. My name is Jeremy Rader. I have the awesome privilege of serving as the middle school pastor here at Thomas Road. And my name is Cody Mumo. I'm the high school pastor. Jeremy, it's episode time. I am so excited. This is the first time that I get to go a as a leader. And I wanted to share with you, Jeremy and I were just talking, what, a, what an incredible privilege it is to partner with you as parents. We, we realize that that's a huge responsibility for us because you had to make a tough decision financially and, and these are your kids and, and we're both dads so we know what goes into making a decision to send your, your child on a, a weekend like this. But we really believe that this is gonna be a powerful time for, for your child. And so we wanna share with you some really practical tips to be ready for this weekend. First thing we wanna draw your attention to are just a few documents that you'll find right on this web page. Uh, the first one is uh, a contact list and packing information. And so on that, you'll see some of our contact information. You'll see the contact information for Ridgecrest, which is the venue that's hosting us. Uh, feel free to file that away, save that. And uh, if anything should come up and you need to get a hold of us, please feel free to use that. Uh, you also see a packing list on there that gives you some information about things we want your student to bring and then also some things we don't want them to bring. We want this to be a safe and secure environment for them throughout the weekend, so please take note of that. Uh, we also have the devotion guide for your students on there. Uh, that'll give you the schedule for the weekend so you know exactly what's going on throughout the entire weekend. Uh, it also contains in there all of the devotion content for your students. And so um, the, the content that we're going to be going through with your student is right in there. We want you to see that so that you know what it is we're talking about, what they're going to be learning about. But we also would invite you to just use that so that when your student gets off the bus that, that you would use that to prompt some spiritual conversations with them, to help them process the things that they learned and the commitments and decisions that they made. Uh, and then the last document that's on there that's important is a medical information document, uh, and specifically medicine information. And so if your student takes medication on a regular basis and they know to take that medicine, they remember to take it, they know what to take, when to take, uh, and you trust them to do that, they're totally free to hold on to their medication and manage that throughout the weekend. But if you wanna make sure that they do take their medicine on schedule, uh, we have our nurses that are gonna be with us throughout the weekend. And so you can just fill that document out, let us know what the medication is, how much needs to be given, when it needs to be given. And then when you arrive at check-in on Friday morning, you can hand that directly to our nurses, go over it with them, and then they will take responsibility throughout the weekend to make sure that your student takes their medicine on time. So again, you can turn that in at check-in on Friday. Speaking of check-in, Cody, uh, we do have some construction going on at Thomas Road right now. So if you've been with us in the past, the flow is a little bit different than maybe what you're used to. Cody, walk us through what's check-in gonna look like on Friday. Yeah, you know, um, it's real easy when you're doing this, especially if you've done this a lot, to just think, hey, I, I'm good, I already know everything. So we want you to take some time to read through these documents. I was actually talking with some of our leaders earlier and they said they remembered going through what to bring, what not to bring, and it's been the same year in, year, year out. We just wanna make sure that you, you read through those things like vapes and vape materials and things that aren't typically what we remember when we went going, but none of that's allowed to come. And, and there are things like check-in that's gonna be a little bit different as well. Um, if you've been to Thomas Road lately, you know that there's a lot of upgrades going on uh, as you walk into the front. And so on check-in day, there's really no access to come in through the front. And so what we're going to do looks a little bit differently, but I think it's gonna really maybe even be easier than it ever has been uh, if you just follow a few simple steps. Uh, first and foremost, we're going to come in to Thomas Road through what we call uh, Lower Main Street. It's, it's in through the ELC parking lot. If you drop students off at TRS on, on Wednesday nights, we're gonna come in through those doors and, and so you can park in the Thomas Road parking lot below the long stairway, make your kids carry up their luggage. I mean, they're gonna be at Ridgecrest walking up mountains anyway. It's good practice for them. Let them come up the stairs and you walk in through Lower Main Street. You're gonna take a left and go towards the main worship center here at Thomas Road. The doors that walk into the worship center are gonna have uh, letters over the top of them uh, corresponding to a student's last name. Now, check-in times, uh, we're asking for 
Uh, middle school students, I believe middle school students goes first? Or high, high school high students, school students. Are first. Hey, high school, we get to go in at 1045. 1045, we're gonna let high schoolers go in and then middle schoolers at 1115. Yes. Now, if you have a middle schooler and a high schooler, we're gonna let you go together. We're not gonna make you wait uh, for both. We're gonna let you do that. But what we do that for is to alleviate some of the, the traffic coming through. We wanna be able to give it everybody through and not have a, a huge long wait line. So high schoolers, 1045, middle schoolers at 1115. You'll come in through Main Street, uh, the, the main area, walk into the, the worship center, uh, corresponding to the last name. And as you walk down the aisles, uh, there's going to be tables there and you'll be able to check your student in at that table. Once the student is checked in, uh, the, we're going to make sure everything is good to go. Uh, we're, we're going to move them on. If, if you have one of those nurses forms, one of the medical forms, we're going to have a nurse station down towards the stage that you can take that down, turn that into the, to the uh, people that are standing at that table. Following that, we're gonna take luggage and we're gonna to go to the right, go across the hall into Bruner Hall. Now this is where we checked in last year. This is where we did all of check-in last year, but this year it's only going to be for our luggage. We're gonna go in and there's gonna be a, a, a guy's side and a girl's side in the, in the luggage area. When students come in, of course, they'll go to whichever side they need to and, and they're gonna drop their luggage off. Now, before they drop it off, we, you know, we, we do have a, a uh, place where all luggage is gonna be looked through. We have, on the guy's side, we have only guys gonna be looking through luggage and parents can be there to uh, observe, kids can be there to observe. Same thing on the girl's side. We're gonna only have girls there to, to, as our leaders look through the luggage. We do this because we take our, our security seriously and, and we don't think that we'll have any problems with that, but we wanna make sure that we're doing everything that we can to provide a, a safe weekend for, for our students. And it's not gonna take that long, uh, but they will look through the luggage. And then once the luggage is, is looked through and, and checked in, our leaders will then take it on out to the buses uh, and, and put that in. So that, that's a neat thing. They, the leader's gonna load it up according to which bus that they're, they're going to be on. As soon as that's done, that's really where uh, we, we move back out into the hall. It's almost done. We have a, a merch table. Yes. I see you're wearing the merch yes. today. We got our, our, these are our hoodies. Uh, many of you purchased hoodies when you signed up for uh, episode, and those hoodies are gonna be with you. You're gonna be able to get those uh, at that time. But if you did not get a hoodie and you think, wow, Jeremy and Cody look really spiffy in that, and we would like to have one of those hoodies for ourselves, uh, there will be a place where you can purchase those there as well as, well as other uh, episode merch. You can buy it at, at Ridgecrest as well. And so we wanna just encourage you, bring a little bit of money for merch. Kids love to have something to remind them of the weekend, whether it's a sticker, a journal, um, AirPods uh, mm -hmm. cover, or or of course the hoodie for the year. So you can buy that right before our, the students go into paid chapel. It's right there where parents will separate. If, if you've brought your child, uh, parents, you give them hugs goodbye and, and you know pray for them right there. We encourage you to be praying for your student all weekend long. But then students will go into paid chapel where we'll have fun activities. It's just kind of a waiting time because we want to be able to load up our buses and be out of here by, by noon and head down, which also makes me think, make sure that you've eaten or you bring yes. your lunch with you uh, because we, we will get on the road because we got to get down the road to uh, episode 23. It's going to be a great time. So uh, how, how can parents kind of stay in touch and, and keep up with what's going on on the weekend? Yeah, we want to invite you to be a part of episode 23 with us. Uh, like Cody said, we count this as a partnership with you. And so one way you can stay connected with us is to follow us on social media. Uh, you can do that at underscore TR students. We'll be posting updates, uh, pictures, videos throughout the weekend so that you can get a glimpse of what your students are experiencing. Uh, and then also we do have a, a Instagram for episode itself uh, at episode underscore underscore online. Uh, so please check that out as well. Uh, as soon as we can, um, whether it's within the weekend or right after the weekend, we'll be posting all of the session messages on the website episodeonline.org. And so I would really encourage you to watch those. Um, we have a great speaker coming, Dr. Al Holly. Uh, he's gonna be challenging our students from God's word uh, and encouraging them uh, to make decisions and commitments uh, uh, in light of that. And so we want you to be aware of uh, what he's teaching and how he's challenging your students. And, and again, those are great opportunities for you uh, just to be able to have some intentional conversations with your students as they return home. But uh, we are so excited 
excited. We cannot wait uh, for the weekend to come. Uh, Cody, I know you're excited. It's going to be awesome. Yeah, I'm telling you, here's, here's the thing. You and I have both been sensing that God is doing something really special here at TRS uh, leading up to this. And so I am anticipating this. So we ask for your prayers. Again, we, we recognize the, the, this is a big weekend for you as your child will be gone. Uh, thank you for trusting us. We're, we're excited for this. Episode 23 is going to be a weekend to remember. We're excited for that. Thank you so much for being a partner with us. Thank you.